Hello, this is Richard the Dick Coughlin. I wasn't going to address this, but I have had nearly 50 PMs from people uh, between my two channels in the last few hours. People sending me death threats, general abuse, and lots of other shit. And it's mainly because of Thunderfoot's video, so I'm going to have to address it now. Unfortunately, what Thunderfoot has done here is he's been deliberately dishonest, and I know he has. Um, because he's using clips from videos in which I give out certain information which he's choosing to ignore. I've already stated this but, uh, previously, but I'm going to say it again, because it seems that a lot of people are immediately believing him and not even giving me the chance to fucking speak my side. Number one, I did not make that website. I had nothing to do with its creation. Thunderfoot uses a clip from a video. In, uh, from one of my videos on another channel and in that video which he took the clip from I even state who the user was who made that website it had nothing to do with me so if you're gonna keep sending me this stuff at least fucking let me have a chance to say whether it's not it was me because it wasn't the user was Silver Era 309 yes he is a friend of mine but if I'm gonna be held responsible for every fucking stupid thing my friends do then why can't I hold Thunderfoot personally responsible for all the death threats I'm getting now seeing as he likes to hold everyone responsible for, for things that other extremists in their fucking group do secondly Thunderfoot I wasn't fucking banned from YouTube you fucking moron and you know I wasn't banned from YouTube I had account, my account flagged, but these accounts and the other accounts I've got existed prior to, th to that channel being uh, deleted, so it's perfectly okay. The channels are all linked. If YouTube wanted me to fucking uh, wanted me to be banned, then it would be perfectly fine. They would have done it already by now. And I find it incredibly nefarious that you are basically saying that, well, if this doesn't YouTube violate YouTube's terms of service, I don't know what does. I haven't violated YouTube terms of service fund for even if I had anything to do with that website being made which I didn't even if I did it happened outside of YouTube and had nothing to do with this so yes I had nothing to do with this fucking website being made I know the user who did it but I'm pretty and Thunderfoot knows this because he's used clips from videos in which I give him that information he's used a clip from a user called Mr. Lord Laws who's a troll called is no god who used to fucking troll DPR Jones he even accused DPR Jones of stealing all the money from the MSF charity event and he even once in a blog TV with the user QDragon1337 said that he should be put down because he's fucking disabled and this is the guy Thunderfoot's getting legal advice from now Next up, Thunderfoot, did you know that the law, Mr. Lord Law's sites, um, is not exactly interpreting it very well? Unless you own the copyright to the name Thunderfoot, you can't accuse anyone of cyber squatting. However, what's interesting, Thunderfoot, is the law, uh, that, that law uh, that he cites, also states that it's, fraught, it's actually libelous and slander to misrepresent somebody's mental state. Sound familiar, Thunderfoot? Now that we've cleared that up, I'd like to make a statement here. I, Richard Coughlin, the leader and governing body and arbiter of all that people who subscribe to me do, and thus responsible for their actions, in conjunction with the Divinity 3372 Hive Mind Fucking Association, along with the Islamo-sympathizing communists held by Rith Randell Federalist Films, and the corporate Zionist shills of d and Cole, would hereby like to express my sincere apologies for knowing somebody who was responsible for doing something stupid on the internet. It was wrong of me to do this and I apologise wholeheartedly. It was definitely a slanderous and libelous thing for that person to make that sight of you, showing images of you photoshopped onto someone masturbating and the reason I believe this to be true is because it's quite clear that you, Thunderfoot, have not got any fucking dick. Now sue me, you fat neck fucking arsehole. Richard the Dick Coughlin. Good night. May God be less.